Hey YouTube, um, I am back again and you guys know that my last video was um, a video on how I curl my bangs or how I get my bangs to look feathered and today I'm going to be doing a video on flexi rods. For you guys that don't know what flexi rods are, they look like these and basically they're bendable. You can bend them all kinds of ways and have them, you know, curled, any kind of pattern you want, basically. So, I'm going to use these sexy rods in my hair, and I'm going to be curling my hair. And I will have a part two to this video on the outcome and how it looks. So, starting with combing out your hair, you want to make sure it's all, it's all combed out so when you part it, it um, will be just right. Um... Yeah, so I have two different sizes of flexi rods. This orange one, I forgot the size, but it's smaller than this gray one, as you can see. So I like to use the smaller ones towards the front, so the front of my hair can be more, more like the fine curls, and then I would like for the back to be more loose curls. So take your paddle brush or whatever brush you have, comb out your hair. Set your knife apart. You can um also spray um pump it up or any kind of um holding spray spritz. You can use anything, but I don't use nothing. I just take um a flat iron sometimes and use it for my hair. But in this video, I'm just going to be using the flexi rod. So beginning, you take the flexi rod, hold it to the end of the hair. Roll it up like this, and then roll up the hair. You roll it all the way to the top, and once you get to the top, you bend. And there's your curl. Um, start over again. Do the same method that you used. Hold at the tip. Curl it around, roll it up, get to the top, and curl it under. So basically, you just um, do the curl under method, and you do this around your head. So you section off another part. Section off another part like this. And once I get towards the back, I do um, bigger sections. You can choose to do any kind of, like, any size sections. You can do small sections, medium, big, it doesn't matter. It's, it's up to you because it's your hair. So I'm going to use the gray one for the back. Roll it up. Take it up like this. And curl it to the back. And there's your curl. Doing it again. Comb out your hair. Section it off. And do it again. Doing this, guys, um, you might not get it for the first time if you if this is your first time using them. You might not get it, but um I didn't have it for my very first time using it. But um I started to do them more often, and I started to get better at it. And see, this is like a side done. It's okay if the bendy rollers are um, kind of like towards your face, because you're going to end up tying up your hair anyway. So going to the back, I do the same method. Comb out your hair. Section it off. Get your bendy roller, roll it up, and go upwards. You want to try to make sure like um, your hair is centered so it, want, it will come out equal as the other curls. And guys, I know this video probably will be kind of long, but um, I want you guys to get everything. Like I want you to know, like actually see how it's done instead of a fast forward video. Come out your hair once again. 
section it off, get the bendy roller, roll it up, go upwards until you get to the top, and then bend it back. And that's basically it that I do for the back, getting my curls, section off another piece. For you guys that, um, uh, is the kind of person that likes to rush, um, because sometimes I'm like that. I rush through the video, and I rush through doing my hair because I don't have enough time and all that, but this is, it doesn't take as long as, you know, people may think. Section it off. I'm going to start by using the orange rollers because I want, once again, I want the top, the, well, the front to be more defined curls. Roll it up like this. Going upward. And roll it all the way to the top. Like so. So if you um if your flexi rod fall, you guys, um that basically means that um you rolled it the wrong way. Like say if I was going up like this, and then I'm rolling up, and then I roll it probably this way, and it just falls. That means that um you rolled it backwards. So when you're rolling up towards your face, you curl the um, flexi rod away, like the same way, going in, like that. So next, take another side. And they don't have to be perfect, you guys, just well enough for you to get your defined curl. Take the, the next piece, comb it out, take another orange flexi rod. Curl it up. And bend it. And that's about it for that. Last one. Take my orange roller. <coughs> Roll it going upward. And bend it. And that's basically it, you guys. I know I look pretty crazy right now because my hair is up in the flexi rods. And basically, when you're done with that, you can either take the pump it up and spritz it on your hair to hold the curl, like so. You can take that and hold it, it'll hold the curl more better. Um, what I do for my bangs at night, I don't just leave them like this. I take, um, my bang, and I basically just do a pin curl upward like this. And it holds itself like that. Get a body pin. Take a body pin and stick it in like that. And basically, that's how I do my flexi rods. Get your um your cap, your night cap or whatever you have, and put it over your hair. Like so. And you can go to bed now. <laughs> so you guys, that's basically it for my do it yourself flexi rod tutorial. Um, prices on these, you can find these at your local beauty supply store. You can order them off eBay, anywhere you can find these in Walmart, Walgreens, anywhere. I got mine from the beauty supply store, and it came six for $4.99. So I got five packs, and you can get any color, any shape, any size. These are miracle rubbers, you guys, if you do not like heat. So, rate, comment, subscribe, you guys. Give me feedback on what y'all think of this hair. It will be a part two to this hair, so stay tuned.